So it will be the Sugar Boys. Hello, everyone. I'm Simon Preston, and welcome back to Reggae Boys Commentary. This is the platform where we come together to discuss everything in relation to Jamaican football. This is your hub for everything Jamaican football related. Well, let's get right into the matter, shall we? It's an exciting period of time when you bear in mind the Gold Cup is around the corner. And I'll explain what I mean when I say exciting time, because there are some things, important things that need to be noted when you're bearing in mind what Jamaica has done, because we've done some amazing things and we'll continue to do great things. And that is the reality of the situation. So what is it that we're going to specifically speak about in this matter in particular? Well, it's going to come down to the matter of Jamaica's group. And that is what has finally been confirmed. So just like two years ago, Jamaica are in a group with two other teams that are in the CFU. That's right. But this time around, it's three teams that you could say are in the Caribbean. While Suriname are in the CFU, which is the Caribbean Football Union, Suriname are not in the Caribbean, Suriname are on the South American mainland. If you understand what I mean from 2019, because remember 2019 was Jamaica, Costa Rica, Guadeloupe, and Suriname. Well, this time around, it's the United States, Jamaica, St. Kitts and Nevis, and Trinidad and Tobago. So that is Jamaica's group for the tournament. And as you know, top two teams advanced to the quarterfinals of the competition. So... With that being said, what is Jamaica's record like against the Sugar Boys? Because it's going to be the Reggae Boys against the Sugar Boys. Jamaica has played 10 games against St. Kitts and Nevis. That's right, 10 games searching back from 1979. 1979. The most recent result was in 2018, where Jamaica picked up a 3-1 victory at the Warner Park Sports Complex in Basseter St. Kitts. 2009, there was a friendly where Devon Hodges scored his first international goal for Jamaica. And of course, Jamaica had victories in the late 90s as well in the Caribbean Cup. And also victories as well in the mid-90s as well, Caribbean Cup and also friendly internationals as well. So Jamaica will face St. Kitts and Nevis in the group stages of the 2023 edition of the CONCACAF Gold Cup. So with that being said now, how does Jamaica's group look like in the competition itself? Well, let's just say that the the fixtures, the 16 teams, that is now set in stone for the competition. Group A, the United States, Jamaica, Trinidad and Tobago, and St. Kitts and Nevis. The opening day, Jamaica against the United States, while Trinidad and Tobago tackles St. Kitts and Nevis. The second game of the tournament in City Park uh, in St. Louis, we'll see Jamaica taking on a Trinidad and Tobago in the curtain razor, while in the late kickoff, it's St. Kitts and Nevis against the United States. Now, in the last group stage game of the tournament in Charlotte, in North Carolina, it's going to be the United States against Trinidad, while at the Levi Stadium in Santa Clara, California, it's Jamaica against St. Kitts and Nevis. But both matches will take place at the same time. Yeah, it will take place simultaneously. Group B has Mexico, Haiti, Honduras, Qatar. That group was sorted from day one. Group C now, Costa Rica, Panama, El Salvador, Martinique. So three Central American teams and one CFU team in that group in particular. And Group D, Canada, Guatemala, Cuba, and Guadeloupe. And as I've made mention previously in relation to Group D in particular, what makes Group D a group that has to be kept tabs on is because of the permutations, because Jamaica are in Group A. So if Jamaica tops Group A, which is what we are going to be working as seriously to do, then Jamaica will face the runner-up of Group D. If Jamaica are runners-up of A, then Jamaica would play the winner of group d so that's how that group and how the permutations are in relation to the knockout stages of the competition regardless of whether jamaica finishes top or runner up of group a the quarterfinal for jamaica will be in cincinnati ohio it will be in cincinnati ohio let's say jamaica tops the group 
and wins the quarterfinal. Then the semifinal game will take place in Nevada, Vegas. If Jamaica are runners up and win their quarterfinal, then Jamaica would play the semifinal in San Diego. And of course, the final, which everybody's aware about, takes place in Inglewood, California at the SoFi Stadium. And you guys know about SoFi quite well, don't you? The SoFi Stadium. And it's been a home for the LA Rams, the LA Chargers, and in the NCAA, the LA Bowl. So that's what that stadium has been like. So we look forward to it. And what lies ahead in the competition? Remember St. Kitts and Nevis, they're making their debut. And I know you guys were saying, but Simon, what's Jamaica's record like against Caribbean teams? Well, we have to go back to 2011. Can you believe 2011 was the first time Jamaica actually took on a Caribbean team at the Gold Cup? Yeah, that was Grenada when Jamaica won by four goals to nil. Yeah. And then after that match, there was a match against... Yeah, because remember, you know, Guatemala, Honduras, 2015, Haiti. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then 2017, it was Curacao. And 2019, Jamaica didn't face, Jamaica face Curacao again. 2019, 2021, as you know, it was Suriname and Guadeloupe. So Jamaica against Caribbean teams in Gold Cup history. Formidable, strong, resilient, victorious. And long may that continue. Long may that continue. And may that continue for a very long time. May that continue indefinitely. Forever. We want the best for Jamaica. And we know for sure that our team will continue to do that. Let's get behind the boys. Okay? So, guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And, guys, do check out the... GFF's, GFF Live on Instagram as well for interviews with players so that you guys can get a bit of insight to get to know these players a bit better. GFF Live on YouTube, GFF underscore football on Twitter and Instagram as well. The website gff.football as well so that you get a little bit of insight into the players and they speak about their backgrounds and how the pride that they have representing their country. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. So go over there now. Check it out. All right.